presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a great card. I love this card. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 36, NASDAQ up 93, S&Ps up 23. Gold, gold contract up $10.80, trading at 2,152 an ounce. We have silver up 39 cents, $24.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 79 cents. $78.94 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up five ticks, trading 111.14. The 30-year up 21 at 121.16 in King Dollar. King Dollar broke its consolidation finally, got in the lower range, down 416, 103.382. Euro 108, yen 149, British pound 127 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we got up to a high of 5434. You're at 51, 5134, rather. We're at 5108. Now you can see where we're at. If you're watching Tiger TV, you're gonna see both of these spikes have high volume, folks. So we're going down to at least test these. Uh, I suspect, let's see what that is. 5,097, huh? Yeah, so that's nine points from where we are. My, my take on this, this is going to sell off into the close. Not heavily, but sell down another 10 points. So maybe we're up 10 points at the close or something. Because it's building cause right now. It got down to this level. Well, first off, let's go up to the highs. Because you can see at the highs, Normally, you know, if you get any type of volume up at the highs, you'd hear me saying, okay, man, you're going back to the highs. But the bottom line, all the volume is downtown. So they're going to sell this down. They're going to whack this baby out and see if they can croak it. I suspect they, they're going to be able to, you know, because that's, the, that's, that's how this thing's set up right now. They'll, they'll, we've had two. You have three long bars so far. The next long bar will probably take out these lows. NQ, and the low I'm talking about is not where we are right now, 10 points lower. If we go into the NQs and we take a look at the NQs, you're going to see the same setup. And the NQs will lead, and there's no doubt. Now, what happened is that the NQs came down, broke the swing that was established about an hour and a half before that with lighter volume. That being said, you still have no volume up at the highs. So when you have no volume up at the highs, we still have... it. it it rejected the first bar t t 20 minutes ago, but the second large bar is still hanging out there. So it looks to me that that's where we're going. Gold. We take a look at the gold market out here. This is going to be a closing high again. Well, it already is a closing high because it closes at 130. So the bottom line is that uh, it still trades, what I'm talking about on the exchange, and that's the number that you're going to see in the morning also. So right now, you've done 297,000 contracts. You hit 2160. We're 2151 right now. 
We go to the silver market, we take a look at silver. Silver gets 79,000 contracts. It's, it's lagging, but good contract volume. And then the good old dollar. We take, oh no, actually, let's go to bonds first, because bonds are going with us too. Take a look at the 10 year. Yeah, still got 2 million contracts. It's a good deal, man. Yesterday, you went high with volume. Today, you got good volume. And then the dollar. We go take a look at this dollar. So you can see we've been building cars for a long time. And, you know, you get a wide price bar out here today. So anything, you know, the, it's the 103, about 535 level. That's what you're looking for, you know, that's what I'm looking for to stay under. Let's put it that way. Because that gets you in the lower range, gets you in the lower range, will start making its way down a lower price. Particularly because it's been up here for so long. I mean, this dollar has been strong, man. You know, there's no doubt about it. We came down hard. You did, I think we did a 50% retracement. Look at that, yeah. You did, no, you did a 618. No, no we didn't. Yes, we did. Point three. Yeah, we did a 618 retracement of the, of the leg down. Now, what that means, okay, this is pretty cool to know prior to it. When you do a 618 retracement of the last leg, that means that the next time down, you won't break the bottom. You know, but we we got a long way to go to the bottom right now. The bottom, and this baby is laying out at the 100, yeah, the 100, 600 level. That's where that baby's standing. Oil, we take a look at the oil market out here. Okay, so oil couldn't hold price out here today. Let's see how this volume is. We get 338,000 contracts. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, we'll see if it can stay with this consolidation. What, what oil, oil did, the oil's only over it slightly. But the bottom line, oil's... Oh, I see what's going on. Uh, it's not in the upper range. It, oil's trying to get in its upper range also. Now, now, dollar's trying to get in the lower range. Oil's trying to get in the upper range. If the dollar keeps going south, oil is going to get in this upper range. The next leg of there will get you... Every commodity would. I mean, that's the bottom line, because, you know, commodities are priced in U.S. dollars. Bottom line, lower the dollar goes, higher the commodity goes. That's how this thing, baby, shakes out. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. Oh, New York Community Bank. We got to go that. NY Community Bank. So this baby was going to zero today. NY. And got saved by Steve Mnuchin. Um... They put in a billion dollars. The way the deal is, the last trade in, on this thing was like a dollar something, but the, the bottom line is that they put in a billion dollars. They're going to get shares at $2 a share. A billion should hold them over for a bit. And then they also got warrants, 60% of the warrants at two fifty dollars a share. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow Industrial is up 46, NASDAQ up 88, S&Ps are up 22. We had Powell out there today, folks, at, at the House of Representatives. He'll be in the Senate tomorrow. Um, you know, bottom line is that uh, nothing really has changed out there, meaning interest rate structure-wise. Uh, more than likely, we're dealing, yeah, we're dealing with June. That's, that's, that's what we're dealing with right now uh, as to uh, a rate cut. Um, there wasn't much into the testimony uh, in general, meaning, okay, are you going to cut now? Are you going to cut later? He specifically said, yeah, the, you can expect cuts this year. That, that's, that's how this thing came down. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that the whole thing shakes out. Now, check this one out. I mean, this is, if we were, we were young kids, this is pretty intense. And, and I'm sure a lot of us still have young kids. And this is important, really important for everyone to understand. Because this is, what happens on, a, on the Bloomberg in general, folks, right, is that the stories come up, and because the stories all day long, they keep changing, okay? Now, this one they've kept up, and they should keep up, okay? Because it has to do with cancer, it has to do with proactive and Clearasil, and it's all these uh, benzines that are inside of these things that, like, are insane, so, the beginning of the uh, uh, article is, hand sanitizer were tainted with benzene, sunscreens, dry shampoos too. Now, acne, acne treatments are joining the list of widely used consumer products that contain a high level of the chemical linked to cancer. Acne products, including Proactive, Targets Up and Up, Clinique, okay? Man, I remember as a kid, I used Clinique all the time. Now I use the cream, but the bottom line is that I, these, are, these are products that everyone uses, man. Especially if you, you know, you're breaking out, you're a young kid, man. So pay attention to it. When you see the amount in here, it is like insane. It's not just over, well, the Clinique is just over it a little. But listen to this one. What's this? This is like sick. Um, because the numbers are huge. I read this this morning. Oh, here it is here. Okay. So, in the, the proactive 2.5% cream, that contains 1,761 parts per million 
over what it should be. <laughs> How's that? The one from Target is 1,598 parts over. Clinique is only, well, not only, but it's still bad, 401 parts per million over. And then Rickett Bechter Group, oh, Clarisel. Clarisel. Yeah, that's 308 parts per million over. Bottom line is that this is the stuff. And you know, there's a, so check this out, man. This is pretty sick. This was on the Bloomberg a couple weeks ago. That you know that there's more people under 50 getting cancer now than over 65. My take on that, well, we're speculators anyway, but my take on that, folks. So picture, when our generation was coming up, meaning the baby boomers, I, I remember in the middle of the aisle, I remember when every store was just always fresh goods. I remember when TV dinners come out. I remember when all the packaged goods start coming out. You know, yeah, that was, you know, 1958, right around there, whatever. And it, we know it's, it's all this junk is in the foods, right? I mean, it's got to be because there's so many people that are getting it. But now this deal, so picture... So you have the, that acceleration that's been going up. But now, because it's been so long, these poor kids, <laughs> the bottom line is that it's been there from the very beginning for them, and that's why they're getting, there's, so, there's more cancer under 50 than over 65. Not a cool deal, man. Pretty fucking, oh, excuse me, pretty sick, actually. S&P, so here we go. It's going after this high volume low. I think, it, I think it wants to croak it, though. What ends up happening, folks, is that when they can get this going, it just makes sense they're going to croak it. Let me see. Yeah, there's only three minutes on this bar. They're gonna go, it's going to go right after this and probably croak it. Let's see. It only has a few more points to get it. You're down. Yeah. We'll see where it shakes out. And I'll go to the NQs for a second, because the NQs are definitely the one that's leading here. Okay. Yeah, it's sticking out like a sore thumb right now. So in the NQs, we're at 1803.04, and that number. God, I can't believe I can't see that far. 17,942. Yeah, 17,942, I think, is that low. That'd, that'd, be, that'd be a clipping of 50 points. But that can do it. That can do it coming into the close. Now, you talk about divergence. <laughs> this is where this divergence comes in. That the dollar finally broke, but yet we've been going higher for so long that the market itself is saying, OK, man, I'm going to sell it down, too. And that's what it looks like is going to happen out here. If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here, See what we got. You got and the Nvidia is not stopping Nvidia. Nvidia is up twenty two dollars eight eighty one. You have uh yeah, Foot is getting smoked. I was listening to Tommy's show this morning. Foot is down thirty three percent. And they, they if they really thought that people would wait to twenty twenty eight to make a profit too, as Tom said this morning, that's like insanity. <laughs> Crowd strikes up 28. That's a, that's a good move on the way up. They come out with their numbers last night. We go over to, what is this one? Let's go take a look at Tesla. Because Tesla and Apple have high volume swing lows that they're going after. So Tesla right now is only down 350. We take a look at Apple. Apple's down 120. No big deal. We go over to change gears and go to the GDX because this is baby has juice in it. You know what they just what the GDX has just started. It's come into swings and it's going to need more volume. It's just come into resistance. That's what's going on here. See this whole bottom part, you know, wasn't resistance, but you can see from 
where this is traded up here, you're coming into some heavy resistance. So more than likely, you're going to go sideways, you're going to pull back a bit, you know. This is the time to do it. Now, that being said, because, because this run uh, was so quick, uh, I've seen quick runs like this that they'll push it a lot higher, you know. And we'll see if that shakes out in this particular case, particularly with the dollar being down. Dow Industrials right now up 14, Nasdaq's down six, up 61, Nas, Nasdaq is up, S&P's are up 16. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. I doubt. Dow's up 34, Nasdaq's up 70, S&P's are up 19 and a half. Let's go take a look at Boeing. So, Boeing, what, it, what came out today, look at this, man. So it came out today that Boeing officials have failed to fully cooperate with the U.S. investigation into how the panel blew off the 737 MAX. Uh, in January, the International Transportation Safety Board hasn't received all the documents and information it sought from Boeing since the dramatic incident agency chair told lawmakers today. It's absurd that two months later we still don't have them. Pretty intense, folks. You know, the bottom line is that... Uh, Good old Boeing. He was amazing, man. I mean, the thing, you know, you think Boeing, America, I mean, the whole ball of wax. 
and you know, and guess what? When it hits the fan, forget it. Everyone's hiding. Let's see what they're doing. So they're they're still they're going to do 89 billion this year. They did 77 billion last year. They still from the from the defense contracts they get 24 billion. How's that? Yeah. Commercial airlines 33. Global services 19. All billions behind that. That being said, though, even with the 89 billion, well, they're claiming that it's only going to be one more quarter of losing money. I doubt it. Because they just don't have it together, man, which is really amazing to say about uh, Boeing. But now you can see, you know, what the National Transportation Safety Board is saying is that they're not giving them the information that they want two months later. And you know they have it. Just going to be a matter of uh, how long it's going to take. Pretty wild, man. It really is. And then when Powell was talking today, so, you know, th we've seen this happen before. In fact, I think, I forget who was talking, might have been, I forget who was in the seat at that particular time. When Lehman was blow blowing up, you, you had someone talking with Congress also saying, no, no, we, we're going to be all right, and Lehman was blowing up simultaneously. Well, when Powell was talking, New York Community Bank was blowing up. Now, the bottom line is that, yeah, they got the billion dollars, so... And I'm sure if Steve Mnuchin's involved, you know, he's always been in the banking business. He's made a lot of money in the banking business, all the way back to the savings and loans. How's that? Savings and loans, folks, is 1974. So um, he's the lead dog inside that. And, oh, yeah, so I just wanted to explain how this deal come down. New York Community Bank's going to issue shares at $2 a piece for the billion dollars. And then they also get warrants. So... If we do the number, well, that means they're going to get 500 million shares for the billion because it's two bucks. And then they're also going to get, this is where, see, this is where if, they, if you can turn the bank around, this is where the real money's made. Right, watch this. So what did I do here? So I'm going to do, you get warrant coverage. Yeah, so it's going to be 500 million. Yeah. Times. Yeah. So then, then they're going to get three hundred million warrants at two dollars and fifty cents. So that's how most of those deals are actually structured. Too, it's you, you get the share, but the warrant is the kicker where you really can make a lot of money because what happens with the warrant, you don't have to put the money out in front like they're putting out the billion dollars in front for the two dollars a share. And, you know, then they get the upside. And most of the time on that upside, by the way, we'll find out when all the paperwork comes out. Um, but most of the time those warrants are good for like 10 years. So if, if he can get it back to NYCV to like 10 bucks a share, this will take a bit. But guess what? This is going to be a political deal too, folks, because what's going to happen is that when I say political deal, Mnuchin will, you know, use his contacts, um, you know, just just as any other corporate executive would, um, uh, to try to basically ease the rent controls in New York City, because that's this is that's what this is all about. Meaning, New York Community Bank went in, financed all these places. <laughs> And it's, it's, this is almost just like Silicon National Bank. That Silicon Bank was basically buying bonds and the rates were going up. The law had already passed in New York City when New York Community Bank kept financing these apartment buildings with rent control in them because the, there's been a, a loophole for, as far as I, I've been alive, <laughs> um, that you'd buy the apartment building you do everything and anything to get tenants out, including never fixing anything. Uh, and then you get market rate building. And there was, there's been hundreds of millions made on this. But anyway, you can see, look, just looking at this, you know, five months ago, no, no, three, yeah. Seven months ago, you're trading at $14. So there's, there could be a huge score on this thing, you know. They have some believers. We'll see what ends up happening. We'll see if that, if those believers <laughs> uh, have it right or not. And this is going to be a tight one, man. But 
I suspect Mnuchin going in there. He's been in the banking business so long, I, sus I suspect that it's going to work out for him. Because you don't, he's only putting up, he, the, there's three different groups that are putting up the billion. He's the lead dog putting 400 million up out of his fund, though. So. Go back to this ES just for a second. Let's see how close we are to this number. I think we're getting there. Not yet. Three more points. Okay. Now, see what's happened here is this: we're gonna we're gonna bust this low because we're we're hanging too long at this low. So when you hang at a low or a high, and you keep going sideways. That's the building cause. So this is, we've been 30 minutes building cause right now to break this low. And most of the time when that happens, folks, okay, like if there's ever two more bars, it's going to blow it away. So it's not just going to come to the bar now, which is the 5,097. My take is we're going to blow that away. Let me go into the MQs for a second. Yeah, the S&P is actually closer than the NQs. And the NQs, see, it's interesting that the NQs haven't been building cause. They're actually just keep going to lower lows without a spike. The S&P is more vulnerable right now than the NQs. It's pretty wild. We're going to take a look at the TLT. This is the 20 year plus. What's happening with the TLT out here? We gapped up yesterday. It's higher today. This wants higher price, lower yield. I mean, that's where we stand right now inside the note and bond market. So that's great for the longer period, no doubt. We're at 4.108 on the 10-year. And the high for the last three months is 4.3. The high for the last six months is 4.9. Look at that. So we're still, you know, almost one full percentage point off of what the high was in the 10-year. It's not bad. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 27. You get the Nasdaq up 54. S&Ps are up 16. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow's up 71, Nasdaq's up 77, S&P's are up 70, uh, 23. And you got, uh, let me just look at this for a second. Yeah, let's go take a look at this. So you got XL Energy. Trading 48, that's the low for the year. Now, XL Energy, folks, okay? These utilities, man, because of fires, you really gotta watch what you buy, I mean, in a monster way, because this is not gonna stop. Yeah, you can see what happened here. This is a nice, steady stock. They get the fire going. It goes from 57 down to 48. Let me bring this back a bit. Because what's gonna happen yeah, look at this. This is sick. <laughs> it's really sick here. Yeah, this is a high volume low it was going after. Look at that. That is sick. We'll see if it stops there. As you can see, that high volume low sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, so what's happening, unfortunately, in, in Texas, that what was the, they, they named this the smokehouse. The, it was the smokehouse fire? They, they named it, actually. Anyway, this fire was a million acres, a million, a million acres. And what they think right now, they're inspecting a top utility pole that XL Energy had asked to preserve as potential evidence was inspected and marked with do not climb symbol before the start of the worst fire in Texas histories. Uh, photo shared by the landowner whose ranch burnt and the blaze showed a down pole wrapped in evidence tape uh, sporting a silver inspection tag and a red metal caution tag. Representatives of XL and the pole inspection contractor uh, declined to comment. Officials have yet to identify the cause of the blaze. Yeah, that'll take forever. I mean, but the bottom line is that utility, oh, smokehouse, yeah, they call it the Smokehouse Creek Fire. Burned more than one million acres and resulted in two deaths. So sad. Yep, look at that. Yeah, that's, there's a picture here. Look at this picture of it. You talk about dry wood. Oh my God, look at this thing. I mean, <laughs> that is about as dry as you can get. Look at my crack. Look, look at the, the top of this thing, man. Yeah. Doesn't take much. That, ba that baby, so picture, if they had do not climb on this, but the bottom line, once it topples, it topples with, you know, who knows how many amps to go through that. And then that's all it takes, man. Ba boom. So depending what utilities you have, be careful, folks. Because that's not going to, we, we're not even in the, well, I guess we are in the fire season because they just had the biggest fire in Texas. Normally, though, what ends up happening is that it takes a little bit more into the summer. And out west... It's just pure trouble, man. I mean, between the cities that have been built in the deserts and the amount of dryness that's out there, it doesn't take much uh, to light them up. Um, that's a whole different ball game, man. We go take a look at, uh, we got to go to NVIDIA. <laughs> See what's happening with good old NVIDIA. This is hanging tough. 
Yeah, it's at all time highs. You have 24 bucks, 884. And you still get volume up here. So <laughs> this thing, so picture this. This has gone in four months, it's gone from 400, five months, 400 to 884. And it's still pressing. It's definitely still pressing. Let me just see if the. Yeah, the, 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 so we'll look at this, watch this. The, the short interest is going up slightly, nothing heavy. When I pulled this up the other day, I think it was at 0.85. Now it's at 1.17, which is nothing for stock, 1.17. Um, but I suspect you're going to see more of that up at these levels. Next time they come out with numbers are going to be May 24th, and they're going to be looking to do $24 billion. Amazing. And you know it's amazing here, folks. $24 billion in 90 days. They only did $26 billion for the year in 2022. Can you imagine that type of growth? And they're saying that right now, so they're growing 30% a year in the whole computer and networking business. Inside the United States, they're growing by 34% per year. And then the graphic business is growing by 12, no, no, 4 four percent a year and i believe that when they started out i think they started out in the graphic business which is pretty wild well the, look at that e-mini so they're going the other way here let's take a look at this the e-mini just went up 10 points yep so this held it it, it, it didn't well two different things that had to happen it didn't get to that low it got to it didn't get to the 97 Uh, we got to the 99, 5,099, and then just had a pop. What time is it? Well, yeah. We'll see whether it can, it's, it's going to run into resistance right here, right where we are right now. It just popped, though. It just popped 10 points. No, more than, it just popped 15 points. <laughs> oh, man, that's sick. MQ. The NQ is less, but a pop less, too. The NQ is still far away from that. Now, what gets interesting is that because it's still far away from that, you want to, both of those high volume lows, folks, you want to pay attention to even tomorrow. Because if we don't go after those, if that just doesn't turn, if they, they want to run it up, uh, that's still hanging out there. Platinum. Let's go take a look at the platinum market because this has been highly volatile. But it's starting to get some traction out here. Yeah, it's a good day today. 3,400 contracts. Now, that's a lot of contract volume for platinum. You're up 24 bucks. Yeah, that's a, that's a good number. So platinum's going to try to break its downdraft. You can see it, it broke it somewhat. It's, it's like platinum is saying right now you're at 911, 9, 944. Yeah, 944 is looks, looks like I want to go to right now. PPLT, which is the ETF structure on platinum. Now this has no, well, this has a lot of volume, man. 278,000, you're up $2.23. Yeah, this is going to go. That is some great volume, man. You can see if I bring this down. Now, that's a break with conviction. You get the wide price spread. Get the accelerated volume, so the PPLT, you're at 83, 86, 80, 86, 87 is the next move. Bring this back a bit. This dollar break-in, we're going to see commodity-wise, folks, you want to be all over this. And if you haven't test-driven the gold report, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go uh, right under featured contents, you hit that baby, you're off to the races. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 62, Nasdaq's up 78, S&P's up 22, stay right there, folks, come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to John and Mass. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. How's it going? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Good, good. Hanging in. Hey, I just wanted to get some clarity on the nugget. I'm oh. holding some uh, $30 call options right now, and I'm wondering if we're going to get a little bit of a pullback. Uh, but I wanted you to kind of run that through. Okay, so okay, so when do they expire? Uh, April, next month. April. Then I just hold them. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Are they up a couple hundred percent already? Well, uh, well, yeah, I, I got them, uh, I think I got them on Friday. Okay, so you're up big. Well, we'll hold. What we'll is today's Wednesday, right? Right. Okay, so they're up big. Um, so I don't know if we can maybe get another push tomorrow morning. Or no, I know what you're saying, man. Do you have more than one? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Sell half of them. I got five of them right now. So Good. So sell three. Sell three yeah. right now. Sell it three. Because you'll get, you'll get your money back, right? And, right. you know, it keeps running. I mean, we're, we're pushing it right now. I don't think, I think this is going to be one of these deals, though. Do you remember, like, every time you sell, then you want to get back in the market again? That's right. <laughs> so I think that's where gold <laughs> is right now, okay? But with the option, it makes more sense. Sell three. You got two. You get a pullback. You can buy three more tomorrow morning or uh, uh, Friday. You know what I'm saying? Yep, and, uh, and then hold them. Because we get a um, run. We get a run happening here, there's no doubt. But like Nugget today, we went up to 30, 47. They're just 29, 74. 
you know, I, I mean, that's what, I, that's what I do with them, particularly because we know, you know, you're up some good money right now. Take them. Take them in before take it closes. Look at it tomorrow again. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a Thanks safe a lot, one. Tom. Have yeah. a great one. Um, so Dow's up 93. It went negative when we were on. Up 93. S&P's hung in there. Tw up, tw up 27. Um, always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.